All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we do anything else, let's give me a thumbs up. Okay, our next step we have to do, we have to decide. Now, this is gonna be a sub panel. So we only bond our main panel. So on this one, we have to separate. Now, what does that mean? So in your main panel, you can go there and look, but I caution you on opening your panel because it's very dangerous, obviously, if you don't know what you're doing, especially. But if you go to your panel, you'll see a bar that looks just like this right here, all right? This bar is easily removable and you probably will see a green ground screw into your panel. It needs to be bonded from whatever side it is to, to your can. It doesn't matter if it's on this side or that side, in your main panel. But now for this, this is where it matters. You have to, you have to separate at your sub panel, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So there's no green ground screw in there. You have to take this right here off. Oof. So you have to remove that. Now these are 3 8 screws. I'm gonna use an impact, take it off. Excuse me, they're 3 8 bolts. All right, we're gonna take these. The bar off. Now, now they're separated, okay? That is very important. Now do not throw this bar away at all because one day you may have to use this panel for something else. You wanna put the screws back in. Yeah, that's what now, on this panel right here, guys, this is where your hots come in at. So this is your main breaker, all right? This is your neutral bar because it has the bigger lug on it. This is your ground bar, all right? So on a sub panel, now you guys, I probably will never do a video on the why you bond and why you don't bond. There are other videos out there that explain it way better than I do. However, uh, I don't feel like I can tackle that because I can't really get into my main panel room because I just can't. So I'm being completely honest with you guys, but I'm telling you there are videos out there. I will link the best one I have ever seen, yes, I've watched it, down in the description. So, so give me a like too if you like that I did that. All right, so anyway, so this is your neutral. That, now, it, this could be over here, it doesn't really matter. But what matters, what matters on this panel is you have to bond the ground side. You do not bond the neutral. All right, so this was gonna stay non-bonded, all right? This will go into, there's a hole right here on the bottoms of each panel, all panels. All right, we'll take it in there and we will screw it right in there. Only on sub panels does it matter where that is. It's always on the grounded side. Ground, neutral, all right? And it could be swapped. You could swap it. I mean, you could put that over there but I'm not, because that's the way this panel's set up. All right, so now what we got, our main house panel is still bonded over wherever it's coming from, and this is your sub panel for your garage or whatever, all right? If you were to take a meter, which we're gonna do here in just a second, and you were to put it on this ground bar right here to this can of this panel, it will beep your own meter, beep. If you do it from here to here, it will not. So that, that way you know for sure. I'm gonna show you here in a second. But that has to be this way. It has to only be bonded in one spot and that is your main panel. Or if you have a disconnect, or if you have a disconnect, that is where it is bonded, all right? So like I said, I'm not gonna get too far into that kind of video. Just, there's just way better videos than I have the, capacity to do that you need to watch if you're interested in that. So anyway, let me show you real quick with a meter what I'm talking about 
and you guys maybe will understand a little easier if I show you with the meter. So we're gonna put it on ohms. We're gonna check our meter to make sure everything works. You can hear that. All right, we're gonna take one lead and we're gonna put it to this can, all right? We're gonna put it here. You don't see nothing because this is the bus bar. This comes off your hot and we're gonna go to this neutral and you hear nothing because that's the way it's supposed to be. If you go between them, nothing. But if you go back to the can, that is the way you separate them. Only bonded at one spot. Now I'm gonna keep saying that because it's super important. If you come to a sub panel, you know it's a sub panel and it's bonded with a strap like so and to the can, and you're definitely on a sub panel, you got some problems, all right? So, I'm gonna end this video with that, all right? The next video will be pulling your hots in here from your main panel and hooking them up into there. I wanna show you guys how to do that, what size wire you need. So definitely make sure you like and subscribe this video. Wait for the next week because you're gonna see how to run your wire into here to make it hot. Definitely check back in. I don't wanna make this video super, super, super long, but I wanna get the point across of how important it is to, now I did say one thing that I, I need to clarify before I end the video. I, need, I did say keep it flush with the two by four, but actually you need to pull it off just a little bit, about half an inch, because when you put your half inch sheet rock in here, I, even though I made a flush, I forgot about that. And I, Anyway, I'm correcting myself. Now, I could just redo the video, but I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm going to tell you, you need to pull this out half of an inch because your sheetrock will fit right up against it when you put it in there. And plus, it's sticking out the back, so you don't want to, you know, won't be able to put sheetrock on the backside, obviously. So anyway, that's one thing that I screwed up on, I'm telling you guys. So like and subscribe. Wait till next week. We're going to pull the hots in here. We're going to separate them. I'll show you how to hook it up to your main breaker. We're going to go from there. Guys, if you like what you see here, make sure you like and subscribe. God bless, and we will see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.